Good morning, Al Dumonte. I'm Brian Williams. And I think you're lying. And, and this, this is Ed Hughes. Hughes. Oh boy, Callan, so much has happened this week. I know. In between jumping out of airplanes and saving puppies from fires, I don't even have enough time to host. Okay, that did not happen. Oh, it didn't? No. Let's try a more trusting anchor. You mean Ed Hughes News? It's your boy Bryzik, and we in the building with some Ed Hughes News. The Marines will be on campus February 23rd at lunch, so if you're interested in a pull-up challenge, make sure you come check it out. If for some reason your ID card was taken away, make sure you retrieve that before school, after school, or at lunch in the attendance office. The Army will be on campus February 17th and February 24th, so if you have any questions, make sure you go to them. Seniors, don't forget, you must have a 94% attendance to participate in the graduation ceremony. Well, as always, that's all the news we have for you today, Miners. Make sure you download my mixtape. It comes out 2045. See you later, Miners. Guess what our school participated in? The academic decathlon? Yeah, I thought you were... Didn't know what you were going to say. How? Do I know what you're going to say? Yeah. I don't know, I was just guessing. Well, here's... The academic decathlon. I'm finished. And, uh... I don't know what I just read. But you know who knows their stuff is Academic Decathlon. Did you know they're going to state? Let's find out what they're doing. My name is Daniel Seda Brahimi. I'm president of Academic Decathlon. I s became president my sophomore year. I've been doing it since I was a freshman. Uh, my name is Julia Rodriguez, and my role in Academic Decathlon is a scholastic. So I am on the B portion of Team 2, and I help compete for the team and compete for medals. My name's Kylie, and I'm part of the A team in academic, or the team one in academic decathlon. I'm a scholastic, which means I'm on the B category, and I compete with my peers to win medals and um, go to the next level, which is state for us. Academic decathlon is a club where we go and compete in academic competitions, and we just had two competitions in Porterville, and we're going to state. Basically, it means we are going to compete against every other academic decathlon team in the state, other than just in Tulare County. Actually, I think one interesting thing we've done is just stick with Friday meetings and a few winter break practices. We haven't overworked or had excessive time studying, but we've still managed to beat out a lot of schools that have academic decathlon as a class. We're going to be doing, it's in March is our competition, and we're doing a uh, a lot of meetings in between now and then to get ready for this uh, competition and state will be in Sacramento. I'm still not sure how the division system works in states, but I think our school has a chance this year. We have a great team. Here you go, man. I don't want these anymore. Oh, uh, good luck, Academic Decathlon. Hey, you been staying hydrated? Yeah, dude. It's getting hot. Six more weeks of winter, Mike. I'm in love with the go -go, go 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 I got questions for you. I got questions for you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, um... Mr. Perez, how do you feel about underwater basket weaving? That's what I majored in college. How do you feel about thermonuclear microscopic quantum tunneling? I minored that in college. I didn't know what it was. Can you inform us what it is? I have no idea. What do you think about the color green? Mm, it's all right. I like green. Are you only saying that because Mr. Waters is standing right there? No, he has a nice green shirt on though, and green tie. Have you purchased an Ed Hughes shirt? No. Why? I just didn't. Um, how do you feel about Mr. Waters? He's, he's very aqua-y. H2O is the way to go. He's a homie. Um, and do you guys want to build a snowman? 
I've actually never built a snowman. I don't even know where to begin. No. Absolutely. Do you know how to build a snowman? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you start with the bottom or the top? I start with the bottom. Because it's the base to the body. That's right. Are you in love with the cocoa? No. Callum, you'll never guess who's on Couch Talk this week. Is it Drake? No. Is it Olaf from Frozen? Okay, Callum, you suck at guessing. It's Jack Perez. Jack? Why is he in the show? Does his parents get in the hookup or something? You know, that's a great question. He's the first sophomore on Couch Talk. I still think Elliot's ruining my couch. Callum, that couch was ruined a long time ago. Let's go check it out. Good morning, miners. I'm Elliot Vest, and this is Couch Talk. Today on the show, Jack Perez. Come on, get over here. Hurry up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, gosh. Gosh. All right. How you doing? I'm supposed to ask that first. Well, all right. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I don't care. Uh. So, Jack Perez, what are you involved in around campus? I'm involved in track, cross country, orchestra, and academic decathlon. Wow. Like the triple threat of nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about academic decathlon. What exactly is it, and what do you do when you go to an event? It's uh, it, so it's a competition filled with ten actually different events. There's a speech, interview, essay. There's a math test, English test, history test, science test, art test, music test, and economics test. So what I'm basically hearing is. Regular school testing isn't enough for you. No, it's not. That's something that you enjoy doing? Yeah, I need that extra push, Elliot. <laughs> Nerd. That's why I'm up here. You're down here. I'm the host of Couch Talk. What are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so let's get a little bit deeper. I understand your parents are teachers here, correct? Both of them? They are. How does it feel that your parent is the worst teacher on school campus? You know, uh, it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Can't, I don't think it's happened to anyone else around here. You can't pick your parents, you know, Elliot. I, I think my parents are great parents. I, I, I've only had one of them as a teacher, and I thought mm. she was good. Well, you didn't have the other one. No, I, I did not. He's not that good. So your dad was the Grinch on the rally last Friday, correct? He was. He was? All right. Was. Well, your dad gave me a baby <laughs> photo of you, and I just want to see if it looks <laughs> correct. Yeah, it's, it's I think a, that looks pretty similar. It's actually. it's a perfect match. This is great. Wow. This the resemblance is uncanny. So you're allergic to peanut butter, correct? And peanuts. And peanuts. Yeah. So if I brought out peanut butter right now, would you be scared? No. It's only if I eat it. I am only allergic to eating peanut butter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not scared, Elliot. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I just won't be shaking your hand now. I just won't be shaking your hand. <laughs> so I understand you have a sister here, right? She's a freshman? That's correct. she available? Not to you, Elliot. Not to you. Not to me? Not to you. Why is that? Do you see your face? Yeah, it's my face. It is. Well, in case you change your mind, I mean, I have this number. Oh. 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 Okay. So I understand that your academic decathlon team actually is going to state now. Yes, we are. How did that process happen? Well, first we had to go to county, and we had to compete in county, and we were the overall top scorer in the county. So now they are going to place us in either Division One, Two, or Three to go to state, and we will compete against other teams. In those in our division at state, and it's in Sacramento. It's in Sacramento. So when is the event? The event is March nineteenth through twenty second. Uh, the only parts that are attendable are the twenty first and the twenty second. Wow. Well, I wish you good luck. Right, I hope you. you bring me a snow globe or something. Go to Sacramento and cheer them on. And now we go to replay road trip with Jenna. What? Jenna. What? Jenna. Hey, miners, we're back with replay. Your winner for the theme, Funny Moments, is Ashley Hart. 
You can see Mr. Jiraki in room 603 to claim your prize. You can now start sending in your pictures for the theme pets. See you later, miners. And remember, like it, love it, replay it. And trust me, they are way better at hosting than you two ever were. Uh, uh excuse yes, me. That's probably uh, if we not look at this rationally, true. I mean. It's true. Anyway, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna take back what's ours. Are you with me? Yeah! Well, I'm rallying my men. Let's look at home front the revolution. In this war epic, you are placed in the year 2029 and you are fighting against the Greater Korean Republic, basically North Korea, and you must spark the second American revolution and take back the eastern states from your totalitarian oppressors. This game is rated M and is set to come out later this year. Ignite your own revolution. See you later. Hey, did you hear Drake's new album? Wait, Drake has a new album? You know, his brother Josh is so funny online. Not that Drake. It's not Drake and Josh. They're not even related. Oh, you're talking about the Drake that take a shot from me. Yes, oh, that Drake. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> Pretty creative, huh? Many people agree that this place we live on, called Earth, is a wonderful place. Many don't agree with that. There's a lot of positive and a lot of negative, and I feel like they go together pretty well. Yes, there is bad in this world, like killings, hatred, famine, poverty, but yet there's so much good in this world, like peace, love, harmony, human kindness, and charity. And I feel that they go together. And when bad things happen, it makes us stronger. But yet, when good things happen, it helps us get through the bad. And it helps us remember what we've gone through and where we came from. As humans, the life we live on this earth sometimes is not the easiest. We all have our daily struggles. If it's school um, or just living our daily life, we have struggles. And you don't have to necessarily worry about it. You don't need to stress about it because there's so many things out there that us individually we have that provides us personally happiness. Whether it's a hobby or just listening to music, we all can access our own happiness inside of us through an activity of some sort. And you just have to find it. The individuals that undergo hardships know it the best. The concept that we call life is a perfect one. What, what am I saying? Life is perfect? In a way, yeah, there's so much bad, but you just need to realize that the bad makes you who you are today. It strengthens you, you just need to start looking at it that way. Think about it, you go through a little bit of everything in this life. You have good days and you have bad days. In order to survive the good days, you have to appreciate the bad days. If we lived in a world that was perfect in our mind, that we had no struggles, no issues, we wouldn't learn anything. The good days are just a reward for the bad days we survived, that we had pushed through and made it to the next day. Your mind has the capability to do anything. You have the capability to do anything you push yourself to do. 
All in all, you have the ability to overcome any situation that you're in. You can get through anything. I already said that, keep saying it, but it's worth saying. So, I love you guys. Keep it strong, you know what? Like, love one another. And I'll see you guys in a few weeks. I love you. Peace, man. We out, miners. Out of these raps. Ah!